A third of Pakistan is literally underwater after weeks of torrential rain. More than 1,100 people have died in the heavy flooding, including 380 children. Roads and bridges have been washed away, making it harder to get aid to the more than 33 million people affected by the disaster. Hundreds of thousands of them are living outdoors without access to food, clean water, shelter or basic health care. Prime Minister Shabash Sharif has made a desperate plea for international help as the United Nations launched an emergency appeal on Tuesday for $160 million. The Secretary General plans to visit the country next week. Pakistan is awash in suffering. The Pakistani people are facing a monsoon on steroids, the relentless impact of epochal levels of rain and flooding. The climate catastrophe has killed more than 1,000 people with many more injured. Millions are homeless, schools and health facilities have been destroyed, livelihoods are shattered, critical infrastructure wiped out, and people's hopes and dreams have washed away. Pakistan's Prime Minister responded by saying the appeal needed to be multiplied rapidly and pledged transparency for every penny. Early estimates put the damage from the floods at more than $10 billion, the government said, adding that the world had an obligation to help Pakistan cope with the effects of man-made climate change. The country has received nearly 190% more rain than the 30-year average in the quarter through August this year. There are fears the devastation will further derail an economy already in turmoil, possibly leading to an acute food shortage and adding to skyrocketing inflation. More than 2 million acres of agricultural land has been flooded.